Kabadar. But worse was to come Sunday morning in the wet where the mist hangs in the trees here at Hockenheim. It was wet in the morning as Derek Warwick had one of the biggest accidents of his career in the footwork. He ran into the back of Luca Badar's car, tore off the whole right hand of the car and was just a passenger in his monocoque as it rolled into the gravel traps. The whole world held its breath. Immediately on the scene were Ferrari drivers Gerhard Berger and Jean Alesi stopping, as was his teammate Aguri Suzuki. And the good news was that Derek Warwick escaped injury in what is certainly the worst accident in Formula One this year. Astonishingly, Derek was on the grid six hours later in his spare car. Everyone is stunned to see him there, especially Jean Todd here at Ferrari congratulating him on what everyone believes is a superhuman effort. We talked to this brave man here on the grid at Hockenheim. Derek, we're happy to see you here. Thank you, thank you. How do you feel? I feel okay. Um, you know, it's uh, the, for me it was uh, uh, obviously a bad accident, but for me it was, uh, I have no problems physically, a little bit of a stiff neck and a little headache, uh, but really no problems. What, uh, what was happening? Um, I was following Prost and Senna, and there was a lot of water and a lot of spray. I could see nothing, and I was doing maybe 320 k's, and uh, Bado was going very slowly. And out of the spray came uh, Badoa and took off the, the right side of the car. I remember Monza in the I remember 90. Monza. <laughs> I asked you this this time I asked you, are you Superman? No, no, no. I just uh, I'm at the moment I'm very lucky. That's, that's enough. So Derek Warwick taking his place, eleventh fastest on